So the next element in Typing Space app is the toolbar to change the properties of the text, such as font and color. Um, so if you take a look at this video, um, in original version of Typing Space app, I had this uh, floating toolbar that provides uh, various types of uh, text properties and, and also some of the additional uh, apps functionality such as save and load a scene and uh, uh, turning on the spatial mapping. Um, so I'm thinking about converting this floating toolbar into uh, the near interaction menu. Um, and let's take a look at my original project. So this is the uh, the original version of Typing Space made with Hollow Toolkit. Um, as you can see, uh, there are uh, different types of buttons. And so when I run this, um, so yeah, this toolbar is floating around me uh, by using this uh, tag along behavior. And I can open and change the font um, like this. Um, yeah, it applies to the currently selected text. Uh, so for example, I just selected this uh, space and I'm going to change the font to Georgia. Uh, as you can see, the typeface has been changed to uh, this area. And also I can change the color, of course. And I had this uh, outline text feature. So if you click this, yeah, as you can see, uh, the text shows the uh, the outline text uh, like this. So yeah, this uh, floating menu is an important element in Typing Space app to control the properties of the text. To create a toolbar, I'm going to create a new empty game object and name it as a toolbar. And toolbar can contain uh, buttons and some of the other elements like a backplate. Um, so I'm going to create an additional empty game object and name it as a button collection and place it on the toolbar. And for the button collection, I'm going to add some of the buttons, HoloLens 2 buttons. Um, so MRTK provides a lot of uh, different types of buttons. And this pressable button HoloLens 2 is the base uh, HoloLens 2 style button with a, a 3.2 centimeter size, a target size. Um, and as you can see, it has a, this backplate and it has a, a nice uh, subtle details such as a, a hover light and f fingertip light and the pulse on press and and also this movement of this the front cage. Uh, based on the fingertip movement, um, and but in this case, I'm gonna use this pressable button, HoloLens to unplate it. Um, so the difference is, uh, as you can expect from the name, uh, it does not have this backplate. Um, uh, this is useful when you use the multiple buttons with a shared backplate. So I'm gonna use this prefab, and. So let's go back to the original project. So in my original Type in Space app, uh, I had this contextual menu per text. So as you can see, when I select a text and it shows this kind of uh, edit, duplicate, delete button. So edit button invokes the keyboard and duplicate button duplicate this uh, text object and of course delete button uh, delete the text um, so that is the contextual menu per text object 
and in this uh, global floating menu I had this uh, typeface menu and also the color and outline text uh, make the text aligned and I have this kind of <clears throat> uh, rotation uh, axis options um, so I had I want to combine these four menus with this contextual menus because it's all about the target uh, selected currently selected text object and I want to make it uh, uh, near interaction so, so one two three four and five six seven so I'm gonna have seven uh, different buttons um, maybe I'm gonna go with the six for now I'm not sure about the rotation axis option so let's go with the six buttons so I'm gonna duplicate uh, this pressable hollowness to pressable button unplated uh, six and MRTK has this nice uh, utility script called object collection so if I add this grid object collection script to this container a parent object and I can easily lay out this multiple uh, child component in a grid style so in this case I'm gonna put the row number one and distance as to zero and as I mentioned the default hollowness to button prefab size is uh, 3.2 centimeters so I'm gonna put uh, 0 0.032 for width and height and if you click update collection um, uh, as you can see now it has a nice nicely laid out the button collection here um, so I'm gonna put the toolbar in the zero and of course you can control this number of rows like two or three you can play with this to when you want to create this kind of vertical toolbar but for now I'm gonna go with this horizontal layout 